I got the opportunity to be, I was a special education teacher in, in Austin, Texas. A couple years in, I got the opportunity to uh, move into South Austin and help launch a program for students who had been labeled as having moderate to severe behavioral and emotional disorders, which was, which was pretty new for me. You've seen these classrooms before. Uh, you go in, you've got a handful of kids. They tend to be at the like three-sided desk working on whatever, usually a worksheet, and that, that tends to be their school experience. We decided that we were going to really understand what it was gonna take for each one of the students to be successful in the general education setting. Uh, that was possible because the school leader had a vision that was aligned to the district support staff's vision for what we were gonna attempt to do. It was a vision that I certainly bought into and it was a vision that my, my co-teacher bought into and it was something that was very different. Uh, at first, it was really bumpy. Um, a lot of things about that approach did not go well. They were sort of reaffirming, I think for, for some, that this was a bad idea. Uh, there, were, there were moments where, where kids were, were not being successful in the general education and there was a really big push to say, you know what, like, let's back off, let's, like, let's, let's kind of bail on this, let's, let's go slower, you know, do it the way everybody else does it, and like, maybe in a year, maybe in a year we'll start to ease into something like this, but there was a commitment across you know, from, from, from downtown to, to the principal's office in the school I was at, to the classroom that, that me and my, my co-teacher were in, to stick with this. And by the spring, we really started to see fewer and fewer uh, behavior incidents, kids really learning to self-regulate and starting to experience success in the classroom. You know, one of the one of the pillars for ANET, what we believe is important, what we've seen, what we've sort of proven time and again and working alongside a number of districts is that when you can have that, when you can work at multiple levels of the system, have that aligned vision and have the sustained effort for multiple years, we see we see positive things happen for kids too, and that really drives our work. Um, my, fr my first year not teaching, I was I was sitting at my desk in the Chicago Public Schools central office, and my cell phone rang. And uh, it, was, it was a fourth grade teacher from the school that I had, had been at the prior year. And she said, I have, I have Jason, one of my former students, I have Jason here, I'm gonna put him on the phone. And I'm thinking, uh-oh, what's going on with Jason? <laughs> uh, like, you know, I'm, 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 getting, I'm getting on the phone to, to calm Jason down, to, to, get, him, to get him reset. Uh, and Jason had called to tell me, uh, I said, Mr. Scott, I passed the test. Uh, and not only had he, and what he was talking about was Texas's state standardized test, and not only had he passed, he actually was in the commended performance category, and, and I got a little teary-eyed because I, well, I remembered um, a couple of years um, with, with a student in particular and, and what he had been through, what he had experienced in his, his personal life and, and the struggles that he had had in other schools and, and the work we had done together. Um, early in his time in, in my classroom and, and the way that the school ultimately embraced him and, and decided we were gonna do something different. That sticks with me, like that's very personal. That had very real implications for somebody and, and this work matters, that, that system alignment matters. And so that's, um, that's, that's my story. And, and I think like one of the ways, one of the many ways, and I know this is true for so many people at ANET too, who uh, most of us have, have been in the classroom, many have been school leaders. I know like lots of folks have those stories, but something that really drives me and motivates me when, when change is hard and progress is slow to, to stick with, stick with it and remember what it can mean for kids and families at the end of the day.